Hello students. Today we will learn about absolute snowfill count. Absolute snowfill count is a white blood cells which contain granules and the type of granules present in the snowfill is a acidophilic granules. In the image you can see the coarse granules present in the cytoplasm of the snowfill and the color has taken pink uh, red color because of its affinity to eosin dye. Generally eosinophil has a nucleus with the two lobes. So nucleus is bilobed. Eosinophil count is a type of blood test. It measures the quantity of eosinophil in the blood. So what is the number of eosinophil in the blood? So by doing this test, we can know that what is the accurate number. This test is helps to confirm a diagnosis. When a person is suffering from parasitic infection or allergic reactions. Hence, the eosinophils are uh, particularly involved in immune response caused by parasites and allergens. What are the requirements for this test? We require syringe to collect blood sample. We need to blood vials so that we can put the collected blood sample. We require microscope to observe the cells and we have to count it using neighbor chamber. Cover slip is required on neighbor chamber. We require test tube for mixing blood with the reagents. We require pasture paper so that we can dispense the mixture of blood with the reagent on the newer chamber. This is the composition of a Dunker solution. Eosin 200 mg dissolved in 10 ml of water. Distilled water we need to take 80 ml and acetone we have to add 10 ml. We need to filter and we, have to, we can keep the fluid in a refrigerator. And at the time of use, we can use it, uh, and but we can store it in the refrigerator. Sample for this test is blood, whole blood sample. So it should be taken in uh, blood vials containing EDTA or heparin. Capillary blood drawn in heparinized tubes or immediately mixed with the stain may also be used. So we can take capillary blood also, we can take whole blood also from the venous. What is the principle of this test? Blood is diluted with a special diluting fluid. So Dunger's fluid you can take it and we can mix the, the blood with the reagents. The eosin present in the stain, the reagents, gives color, orange color to the granules. So sometimes it takes pink, pink red or pink orange color. Water present in the reagent lyses red cells and acetone fixes the uh, eosinophil. So acetone has a fixative role. The number of eosinophil are counted under low to high power objective using counting chamber. There are two procedures we are going to discuss. The first one is microdilution method. So here we will use WBC pipette and newer chamber. In the WBC pipette, uh, we can see uh, uh, we can see how it differ from RBC pipette. So WBC pipette is has a bulb which is narrow than the RBC pipette. RBC pipette bulb is wider than WBC pipette. The color of the bead presented the bulb is white color in WBC pipette and red color in RBC pipette. You can see the marking pattern on the scale. In, on WBC pipette there is the marking scale 0 0.5, 1 and 11. Whereas on RBC pipette there is 0 0.5, 1 and then 10. 
so let's uh, know the procedure step by step take blood in wbc pipette up to mark 1 so there is one mark there is 0 0.5 mark so you can take blood up to one mark then we can uh, fill the pipette with the dungar's fluid up to 11 mark mix by rotary movement of the pipette mixing is facilitated by white bead in the bulb of the pipette so there is a white bead it helps to uh, mix the reagent with the blood so charge the new blood chamber as done in TLC count so when we uh, do TLC count so accordingly we have to charge the new blood chamber so the procedure is similar wait for five minutes for reaction field to settle down so when we put the uh, drop of uh, mixer of blood with reagent on the new blood chamber so after charging we have to wait for five minutes so that the eosinophil can settle down at the uh, appropriate place on the new blood chamber this is the procedure for micro, dilu uh, micro dilution method where uh, we don't need wbc pipette so take a clean tube eat 0.38 ml of dungar solution a 20 microliter of ETA blood wait for 10 minutes charge the new blood chamber and wait for 5 minutes for the field to settle down so here uh, the micro dilution method we mix blood and resin in the large one large amount so we need micro pipette or we need glass pipette so that we can take 0 uh, 0.38 ml of dungar solution and after that we can add 20 microliter of the blood so down to micro blood can be taken using salis pipette or you can take it uh, through uh, micro pipette observation uh, esnophils are recognized by their bright red granules counting we can see uh, here this is the uh, grids which are uh, you know microscopically observed under the microscope uh, these kind of grids are uh, you know they are uh, they are they are uh, made on a new word chamber so new word uh, this grids is indicate the different corners uh, four uh, corners are for wbc counting the central r indicate the area where we can count red blood cells so uh, here uh, we have to choose the four corners here WBCs are counted so choose an area of the field where the cells are exactly seen in the large square of the chamber so the large squares we have four corners and we have to select one of the large squares under the microscope so we have to see the cells and we need to count the cells in large squares one by one so first of all count in one large squares then move to the next uh, large squares and count the eosinophils so we need to count uh, in third and fourth consequently count with uh, within half an hour this is suggested that you have to uh, do the process within uh, half an hour or as early as possible so that um, the reagents uh, may not dry if it dry then it may can cause uh, error or in the you know observations or error in counting let's know the counting so there is a formula for absolute reason fill count number of cells multiplied by dilution divided by area counted multiplied by depth so number of cells we you can count it under the microscope the dilution is what we have diluted the blood with the reagents so it's a 10 dilution area count we have counted four areas on the new blood chamber and depth of the the fluid is 0.1 millimeter so it's given here where uh, dilution is 10 depth of fluid is 0.1 millimeter area counted is 4 so we can uh, we can put these values on in the formula and we can get uh, we can get uh, the the small formula that absolute sniffle count is equal to n multiplied by 25.
so when we multiply the number of cells counted with 25 so finally we can get the results so results can be uh, you know given in per cubic millimeter this is the normal range that the normal person the absolute decimal count is 40 to 400 per cubic millimeter if the value is less than 40 is uh, found then it's abnormal if the value 400 uh, above 400 is seen in the patient then it's again it's an abnormal so let's know the clinical significance high number of eosinophils is called eosinophilia where the value is above 400 per cubic millimeter usually associated with allergic disease and infections from parasites such as worms so patient uh, who have worms or who have parasitic infections uh, we have allergic reactions so usually their eosinophils levels are very very high a high eosinophil count may be due to uh, asthma autoimmune disease eczema hay fever and leukemia so these are the conditions which are associated with the high level of absolute eosinophil count a lower than normal eosinophil count may be due to the following condition first is alcohol intoxication a patient with the alcoholic uh, can have low level of eosinophil in their blood uh, overproduction of uh, certain steroids in the body such as cortisol uh, which is usually seen in the hyperadrenalism where the uh, adrenal gland produces a lot of cortisols so a uh, high level of uh, high production of certain for, uh, uh, steroids hormones uh, may can uh, decrease the number of uh, eosinophil in their blood uh, we have done thank you